This is a University of South Carolina TSTM 544 training video. We made a website on open source and web 2.0 applications for the classroom. The training topics on this website are open office and Google Apps. Uh, this particular video is on open office writer beginner. It's objective 8 on the website demonstrates the use of uh, character formatting features such as bold, underline, italics, font styles and sizes and superscript and subscript. I went ahead and made some text on this page uh, just so I can demonstrate some of the features of the formats and this is the uh, website right here. First thing I want to go over they kind of go together bold, italic and underline just going to show you how to get to each one to change them. There's, you know, different ways you can change them. Uh, the first way up here, this giant B is bold. Also, when you highlight stuff, you'll notice that it tells you what it is pretty much. So, uh, when you have your text highlighted, you can click it, turns it bold. Um, you can also leave it clicked in, and when you start typing out other stuff, it'll stay bold. <coughs> Just unclick it, and you can also unclick it again to change it back to normal. Italic is right next to it. Click that in, and it changes it. Click it again to change it back, and underline is right next to italic. Uh, you click that in, changes it. Uh, another way to get to it, you can right click, go to style, and it's got all three of them here: bold, italic, and underline. Um, and the last way you go to uh, format character you go to the font tab and inside the font tab under typeface you can do bold and italic and then you have to go to uh, the font effects tab for underlining and there's a whole bunch of different ways you can you know you can underline single double bold dotted dash you just pick one, you click OK, and any any changes you've made inside that that uh, box, it'll change it all. And then you can just go to uh, <clears throat> you can undo everything, get it back to normal. That's basically it for those three. Next thing I want to go over is uh, font styles and font sizes. The easiest way to get to them is up here on the toolbar. Um, this is your font style drop down menu it's got a whole list of them you can scroll up and down and see those and <clears throat> it's got an example of how it's going to look and then this is your uh, font size it goes all the way down to 6 and all the way up to 96 another way to get to your style and size you highlight the text you want right click the top one is your uh, font style list um, you can use a mouse wheel to go up and down if you have them or just use these little arrows and the second one right underneath it that's your size list <coughs> and the last way to change it go to format character again under the font tab and it's got your font style list right here your size list right here just choose one of them click OK and it changes it. The last thing we want to talk about is superscript and subscript. What you may have to do, especially if you just downloaded OpenOffice, uh, go to this arrow right here at the end of the toolbar and go to visible buttons. You may have to check those on. Whenever I first downloaded it, they weren't on the default toolbar, but they're right here. The one on the left with the blue A at the top, the superscript, the one on the right is subscript. Just click those in to change them. And you can also go to uh, format, character, lose position, and you can click them in on here. You can also uh, control the percentage relative font size. You click OK, it changes it. Uh, again, this was Objective 8 on the website under OpenOffice Writer Beginner.
and the website to get to the website just go to that link at the bottom